you can use the following tools to deploy applications and programs to their workstations. Here introduce you the easiest method to do that. Steps to set up Active Directory. Click on Add Roles and Features. Select Role-based or Feature-based installation and click Next. Select the server by highlighting the row and select Next. Select Active Directory Domain Services and then select Next. Click Add Features. You shouldn't have to select anything at the Select Features, so just select Next. Click Next in the ADDS section. The installation will begin. When the installation is complete, you need to now promote the server to a domain controller. Click Promote this server to a domain controller small hyperlink in the results window. Or, if you are like me and you clicked close, click on the yellow exclamation mark in the upper right section of the server manager dashboard. Select Add a new forest, type in a domain name that you want to use, then click Next. Type in a password you want to use for DSRM, then click Next. Click Next on the DNS Options page. Click Next in the Additional Options page. Click Next on the Path sections. Click Next on the Review Options screen, then click Install on the Prerequisites check page. When the installation is complete, log back in this time you will be logging into the server with domain credentials. The installation will begin. The server will reboot during this process. Choose Tool, Active Directory Users and Computers. Right click the domain that you want to add the user to and then choose new. User from the contextual menu. Enter the user's first name, middle initial, and last name. Enter the user logon name. Click next. Enter the password twice. Unselect user must change password at next logon. Verify that the information is correct and then click finish to create the account. Use these steps to assign a static IP address configuration to server. Click on open network and internet settings. Click on network and sharing center. Select the Internet Protocol version 4 option. Click the Properties button. Select the Use the following IP address option. In this case, it's 192.168.1.5. Use these steps to share a folder. Open File Explorer. Browse to the folder location with the files that you want to share. Select one, multiple, or all the files. Click on the Share tab. Click the Share button. Click the Computer tab. Click the Map Network Drive button. Type the username and password to access the network resource. Ensure that the Reconnect at Sign In option is checked. Click the Finish button. You see a new drive appear in the window, one with the letter you assigned. Opening this drive icon displays the contents of the shared folder on the network. Use these steps to deploy applications and programs to their workstations. Step number 1, create a group policy. 
open the group policy management and add a new policy from group policy objects. This can be done with clicking create a GPO in this domain and link it here, enter any name and save it. Now access the new policy from right side and right click on the interface and select edit. Step number 2, choose package to deploy with GPO. Now expand user configuration to reach software installation. Then click and choose new and then click package to set the location of the installation file. Step number 3, deploy with GPO successfully. From the pop-up dialog box click on assigned and press OK. After a while the chosen installer file will be displayed in the software installation tab. Now let's switch to our Windows 10 client computer. Use these steps to assign a static IP address configuration to client. Under the use the following DNS server addresses set preferred DNS server section, which is IP address of the server providing DNS resolutions in this case, it's 192.168.1.5. Use these steps to join domain. After restarting your client PC and login as domain user, you can verify that VLC is installed. Thanks for watching, don't forget like and subscribe. Help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribe.